Hello and welcome to uh, our second list video. This is uh, Thwack Jack Productions and we have a special guest today. I'm not that special. We're, we're calling it special because he hasn't been here in like six weeks. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> you might remember him. You might not. I doubt it. Right. So this <laughs> is uh, Nate and uh, Nate's going to kick us off. We're doing a uh, list video of our top five favorite horror movies. So. Yeah. Nate's gonna start with his number five real quick. And I'm, my number five is Saw. And, and why? Uh, yeah. Because I like being surrounded in a room full of people killing each other and killing <laughs> themselves. So, <laughs> fair enough. And, and like, why would you put it at number five instead of? It's, it's not the one I remember as uh, vividly as the other ones, <laughs> but it's definitely sticking out enough where I'm able to say it confidently. Okay. That, that's my number five. Sounds good. Sounds good. I haven't seen it recently. And then, uh, Damien, what about your uh, number five? My number five is Green Room. And that's a fairly new one. It came out four years ago. Yeah. And I just remember watching it like three times in theaters and it has some sort of effect on me, I guess, for me to watch it that much. <laughs> I can 100% see why. That is... It, it ranks up there high on like my favorite movies of all time. Yeah. Especially with that being one of uh, Anton Yelchin's last movies. Mm -hmm. And... There, that movie was just bananas off the wall, right? And like, like the idea, like it was like so simple to like avoid, oh, right? Yeah. All it took was just to oh, I forgot my phone charger in right. the green room. <laughs> well, that and seeing Patrick Stewart in that role blew yeah. my mind. Yeah, like him being pretty much the leader of like a KKK group, mm -hmm. like threw me for a loop. Right. <laughs> the because yeah, you're like you're not used to seeing him in something like that. Yeah. And the most it, like. like wow left field choice possible makes it more intimidating I think, oh yeah. you're not used to that so. absolutely yeah just the brutality of it everything feels like super real mm -hmm. like when anton yelchin he sticks his hand through the door to give him the gun oh, and he just God. almost gets his hand sawed off yeah like oh I, no, I did not expect that like especially because yeah. he has that like final guy type of thing like he should be there pretty much till the end and like right. that made me feel like he was almost expendable right so yeah it's like almost makes you think like too like what you would do in that situation. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. next time we're doing a show or something, you forget something in the green room, just tell someone who works there. Right, yeah. Can you can you go back and get that for <laughs> yeah. me? Yeah, yeah and I I could definitely see why that would cause a little bit of hesitation. Right. <laughs> Especially in like in that in area or whatever. Right. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Um yeah, like especially in that setting. Yeah. Um my number five would have to be uh, Cabin in the Woods. Oh, see, and the, the, see, I forgot about that one. <laughs> yeah, I didn't put it on my list. That, that one's kind of like a—it's almost hard to call it a horror movie because it has comedy elements. Because it's very much about subverting expectations. It's like meta. Yes, almost. it's yeah. extremely meta. Yeah, but um, I actually watched a video on it that kind of blew my mind because um, they filmed it before Thor came out. Okay. And it was before he was ever actually cast as Thor. Was it that long ago? Yeah. Like, but wow. it got delayed by like almost two years. Okay. And when it actually finally released, it got a bunch of hype because of the fact that he was just cast as Thor. Uh, so it like catapulted it in okay. the theaters. It was like a perfect like timing situation. Yeah. It yeah. was like perfect storm of events and yeah. it actually helped the movie out. Yeah. Um, the fact that they had like a whole like company basically running like the end of the world sacrifices mm -hmm. and they're it, it was super morbid because they're placing bets on what kind of calamity they're gonna go yeah. against and, and it's kind of like it's one of those movies like something's happening you think it's gonna be one thing then it changes yeah and then the ending just changes entirely from what you oh, yeah. previously saw well especially if you're looking at it from like the very first scene of the movie because you almost feel like you're in the wrong movie right you're going in and it's just dudes walking through an office building and they're yeah. talking about like placing bets and all this and you're like didn't right. I go and try to buy a cabin in the woods or like am I in the wrong theater like what's going on here? <laughs> right so yeah, I like it especially just because of like how much subversion there was mm -hmm. so for sure um, and then Nate what would your number four be my number four is gonna be Texas Chainsaw Massacre Anthony like uh, the uh, original or the remake? The remake. Okay. Oh, yeah. With, uh, is, is that Chad Michael Murray in that one? No, that's um, Jessica Biel and all the other actors are kind of like no-name actors. Okay. Except for Arlie Army. I mean, that was just a time where it felt like Chad Michael Murray yeah. was in everything. Because I think True. it was around the time of like House of Wax. Yeah, I love that movie. Yeah, that's, that's a good movie. Movie. <laughs> yeah. I like Chainsaw I like Texas Chainsaw Massacre because one, it's based on a true story. And two... The gas station where it happened is now a barbecue joint. Yeah. Oh, where they filmed it? 
Yeah. Oh, okay. really? Yeah. Well, no, where it actually happened. Oh, yeah, so where it actually happened. It's now a barbecue joint. Okay. It, so, the thing I think is weird about the Texas Chainsaw movies is like. Ed, what was the Ed Dean? Inspiration Ed Dean was the inspiration. But he's also been the inspiration for like five other Psycho. horror franchises. Yeah. Psycho, um, obviously Texas Chainsaw. I swear there was at least one or two more. There's a there's a couple. Yeah, there's a couple. So um, you know, I, I can definitely understand why you would pick that on your list for yeah. sure. Yeah. And it's hard to pick one of those movies because there's like a few good ones amongst like. I honestly a, don't yeah, know if I've seen them all. <laughs> yeah. I, I know I've seen that one, yeah. but it's. Definitely Did you see Texas Chainsaw 3D, the one that came out a few years ago? No. <laughs> horrible. Uh, it was supposed to be like a direct sequel to the original. <laughs> the, like the yeah. OG OG? Yeah. Okay. It was fucking horrible. Trey Songs was in it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know it's gonna be bad. Right. You know, a rapper or a oh. singer in it. Did he die first? Yeah. Hmm? Probably. Did he die first? Probably. Honestly, he didn't. I don't think. What? what? No. They tried to like break that stereotype. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, yeah. that's fair. So, what would your number four be? Uh, let's see. My number four is Hereditary, which is another new one. I still have not seen it. Really? One. Yes. Damn. Yeah, that, that was really good, like, possession movie, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Really good. Did you see that one? Yeah. I, I did. I, I, I've heard about it, and I've heard good things, and mm -hmm. it's just like uh, Midsommar. I need to find my way around watching director. that one, too. And, uh, yeah. uh, I can't remember the name, but I... I've only heard good things about both of those movies. Yeah, Ari Aster, yeah. Apparently his, his next movie's gonna be a comedy. Okay. Which is completely different than those two things. <laughs> See, like, I love that kind of, like, switch, because, like, we've seen a lot of directors go from comedy to horror, horror lately, which has been fantastic. Mm -hmm. Seeing the opposite would be interesting. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Seeing that, sure. like, dark humor mm -hmm. both ways is nice. Um, I think my number four I put down as The Hills Have Eyes. Remake? Uh, yes. Nice. From what was it like 2004, Six. 2006? Yeah. I Fantastic. I honestly never watched the original, and I think that helped me when I was because I we were that was 16 years ago, so I would have been nine. Is that right? Not six. No, we were in sixth grade, so we would have been about eleven. Eleven. Yeah. So, uh, my math isn't good. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I fell in love like. I remember watching that movie in my grandparents' basement by myself, like losing my shit. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. especially when that like music just jumps. Yeah. And like crazy surround system in my grandparents' basement at the time, and it just rattled the whole room, and it like mm -hmm. scared the hell out of me. Yeah, it was one of those movies when I was growing up watching. Like, it felt like real when you watched mm -hmm. it. It 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 definitely well, especially because it didn't feel something like too far out of the realm of possibility. Right. Like, especially with the whole idea of, like, nuclear war zone, or nuclear test zones, mm -hmm. and mutating people around yeah. it. Especially growing up as a kid, like, seeing movies like X-Men, it kind of just helped me yeah. draw into that a little bit more. Right. Um, but yeah, definitely up there for nice. me. Nice. Uh, Nate, what would your number three be? My number three is Hills Have Eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and, there the, we go. and the remake, not the original. Because like you, I haven't seen the original. Okay. <laughs> I haven't either. Have you seen the sequel? Yeah, the, the military one with the military yeah. joke? Yeah. It, it was okay. It definitely wasn't as good as the first one. I didn't think so. But I, it's I, still watching. My favorite part, though, is when they drag the dude through the hole like by his fucking leg or something. And <laughs> they like, rip his body in, like, in half or whatever. <laughs> my, my favorite scene from the second one is where uh, the dude shoved into the portalette. Yeah, it scared the hell out of me. And so really? now, like, and, and I do that for a living, or at least the next couple of weeks, I'm doing that. And that's like the first thing I look at when I go yeah. into a portal, making sure there's nothing in there. One of the things that no -no. sat with you. For yeah. Long morning, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, please. Yeah. And then, uh, Damien, what would your number three be? Number three is Scream. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. I don't know I, why I didn't even think of that. I one. was thinking about that yeah. one, but I just, that's the movie I've been watching forever, probably now. Watched it a shit ton as a kid, and still watch it now. It still holds up. It's like one of those. It brought in that new era of like slasher movie, like in the in the nineties. Mm -hmm. It was like the first like kind of a meta kind of horror movie too. Pretty much from the first scene, because everyone expected uh, Drew Barrymore pretty much to be the main character yeah. of the movie. Yeah, and like nope. Yeah, because she was in like all the marketing material, and then yeah. to waste an actress yeah. as big as her for that, and that was like on purpose too. Yeah, because you don't want to give up the whole movie. But yeah, that was because then after that you had I know what she did last summer and shit like that. Kind of came yeah. after that. 
for that yeah. trend, I guess. Then the, there was a lot more smart horror movies after that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then somehow they also got dumber after that. <laughs> right. So, it, they they seemed like they started to try too hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, that one definitely holds a special place in my heart too. I completely didn't even think about that one yeah. for some reason, but uh, my number three. I don't know if either of you ever watched this one. Contracted. Never, even heard, Never of heard of it. <laughs> so, it's kind of hard to call it because it, it it is horror, but it's basically this girl gets date raped. Oh, okay. Okay. And the dude that raped her is basically carrying around a disease because he had sex with a dead body. Okay. And so now anybody who has sex with him or this girl that he infected, it's basically the start of the zombie apocalypse and how it starts. Ah. So it starts as a sexually transmitted disease. Okay. And it is, it's a mind fuck just watching her like fall apart. It's, it's more like body horror okay. nice. than actual like horror horror. Okay. So. Uh, is that a newer one? Or? Uh, I think that came out 2012-ish. Oh, okay. So, nice. I, I, I watched it on Netflix, and I'm pretty sure it's still on Netflix if you want to give it a try. It's it's definitely worth a watch. It's super off-putting because there's, like, maggots falling out of uh. certain places that it shouldn't be. <laughs> and it's 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 off-putting, but it's it's definitely a good movie to, okay. to get you, like, feeling, like, gross and eerie. Right, okay. So. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, what would your number two be, Nate? Nuero Dos is Wrong Turn 2. Okay. Dang, yeah. I didn't even think of any of those movies. Yeah, I'm skipping right past one. I didn't like one at all. Okay. I don't remember it. Actually, I guess I didn't like it at all because I don't even hardly remember the first one. Okay. Yeah, and I remember it came out when we were young, probably elementary school. Yeah, right? I believe so. I, I like one. I, I, maybe they had like, ended up having like eight of those things, right? Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. I don't think I've seen any of them, to be honest. Really? I haven't. It's just about like, a, like cannibalistic... Family. Like hillbillies, yeah, right? Yeah, like hillbillies, yeah. Okay. Yeah. For some reason, I thought uh, the wrong turn movies were always related to, uh, like, Last House on the Left type type of uh, so story, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, I guess I'm way off on that, but... Yeah. Um, so, why why would you put that as number two compared to number one? Because I saw Bootlegged. <laughs> okay. So, that, that's, that's one reason. I did it. But I also saw Hills that I Bootlegged, all right? Okay. <clears throat> but I like this one because they have this awesome scene where the whole cannibal family sitting around a dinner table and they have like a big old feast of like human body parts that, that some are cooked some are raw whatever and then they have people in cages and shackled all around them just like watching then oh. like, like other body parts and then they're like like well where are your manners let's pray so they all pray <laughs> before they start eating the oh, rest I, I wonder if that was uh used as any inspiration for uh resident evil 7 then did you play any of that Oh yeah, I played Resident Evil yeah. 7. You yeah. remember that the whole, family? Yeah, they and they're all there. eating like ears. Like, I, I want to say like Texas Chancellor Massacre inspired that for sure. Yeah. Especially like, when you're sitting at the yeah. uh, dinner table. Mm -hmm. That's set up just like that. Your arm was just stapled back yeah. together and everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I love that game. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, no, that's awesome. Uh, what would your number two be? My number two is Saw, which was on your list. Yeah. So, yeah, my number right. two is Saw. Um, that's like... Saw overall as a franchise is like my favorite horror franchise of all time. I it's, have to agree. Yeah, it's something that I've like been watching since the first one came out was 2004 so I was in fourth grade and been watching them since then mm -hmm. like every year just make sure I catch them and it, well not only that but it gave you a legend like James Wan so it's like yeah it's, it's hard to fight right, against yeah, that movie before, yeah you get to see like where you started yeah I, yeah I think it's like Fast and the Furious I think there's too many of them well I agree they should have to me like it should have stopped after three yeah it, like, it had diminishing it. returns for yeah. sure yeah mm -hmm. but yeah, still love it. It's still around. It's still drawing in people's attention and making dollar bills. That's all they care about. Yep, yeah. and I also had the two Saw games too. I actually, so I played the first one. I haven't played the second one. I want to go back and play it, but I'm sure that like graphically it doesn't hold up because that was on the no. 360, I believe. Yeah, I was on the 360. I had it on PS3, but yeah, the second yeah. one is not that great. But the first one was pretty alright. Because yeah. the first one you play as uh, what what uh, tap. tap? Yeah, yeah. Tap. from yep. the first movie. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I want to go back through and play that again but it's been a while yeah um my number two is sinister oh that was the last movie that made me like you, you know how like after you watch a movie you just like you feel like something's following you 
That was the last movie when I was still like, I, was, I think I was like 18 when that movie came out, roughly. That was the last movie I remember turning the lights off and running to my room. <laughs> like, I felt like I was being watched. Yeah. It, it's because of that scene where he's like literally just walking through the house and all those kids are dancing around him and shit. Stuck with me like none other. That was the last one to make me feel like something was watching. The scene that sticks, sticks with me the most is, um, it's one of the videotapes or whatever they're watching. Mm -hmm. And it's just a lawnmower. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And oh. it just has that jump scare. That got me. That flipped me yeah. out. The There's a couple. Of the second one's trash. But yeah, the first no, one has, there's a lot of good stuff in it for sure. Yeah. And then he sure. went on, Scott, Scott Derrickson went on to direct uh, Doctor Strange. Yes. Yeah. And is he, he's no longer in charge of doc, the second Doctor no, Strange. No, he's not. Sam Raimi's going to direct yes. it. Which I'm actually excited yeah. about. So. Uh, as much as that sucks, it's good to see Raimi back. Yeah, so for sure. Uh, Nate, number one. Number one, The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. It's got flying monkeys, it's got witches. <laughs> Two people die. It's got midgets. It's got <laughs> midgets. A tornado killed somebody. <laughs> uh, there's a scarecrow who got gutted by just, flying monkeys. Just the whole, the whole, like, yeah. the way it looks so is bad. The, the idea that it's... Well, think about it. it was no, a, and I respect it 100%. Okay. But like, any, like, the fact, the way you're describing it does sound creepy as hell. Yeah. But anybody who's is. actually seen it, they're like, but it's so bright well, and well, colorful well, and here's happy. The thing, here's the thing you got to put into perspective. The Wizard of Oz was the very first color movie ever made. Well, and that's yeah. the People remake. in theaters got to be losing their shit. Well, yeah. 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 Yeah, obviously because it was like what written what the eighteen hundreds like late eighteen hundreds something like that. Oh, uh, it's, it's a playwright, so, yeah. and then Toto was originally a cow. I know that. What? Yeah. <laughs> I I I because that's the second film version, isn't it? The I, I think of Oz so. Like the I 60s. think so. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. But think about it. You've never seen a color film, and then the first thing you see is that some people lost their minds. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. And the thing I think is beautiful is always the uh, rumor of is it uh, Dark Side of the Moon or the Wall. That is supposed to match up like beat for beat with Dark Side of the Moon. So I, I think that would probably make it a trippy yeah. experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just the way it looks, the midgets, everything. <laughs> it's scary. The fact that they got a, a, a Wizard King. Yeah. It, it's just, just crazy because I, I never saw it through that lens. I always saw it as like a happy, like honestly, like almost like a yeah. kid's movie. It just yeah, like, I've never. It's kind of like watching Karate Kid and figuring out that Daniel's the bad guy. Right. <laughs> 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 Freaking that just reminds me of how I met your mother. Yeah. <laughs> oh hell. Well. Alright, Damien, what would your number one be? My number one is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. Right, right on, right on. Okay. We're all yeah, that, that's like a a special one for me because like in third grade when it came out, I remember watching it with my dad and my brother who was like younger than me at the time. But um I had yeah, to like he's watch still younger than you, isn't he? Yeah, but he was like <laughs> how old was I in third grade? Like eight. Okay. So he was like four. We were watching it, and I had to like watch cartoons afterwards in order to go to bed. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those things. <laughs> so, like how I yeah. felt with Sinister, almost. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's like one that kind of sticks with me for sure. Okay. Yeah, for sure. No, I, I, I can definitely respect that, and I don't know why that one didn't pop in my head. I did love that one when I was younger too, mm -hmm. but um, my number one has already been mentioned twice on these lists. Is Saw. I can't ever turn my back on that like literally I had a vacation a uh, week and a or two weeks ago yeah and that's pretty much how I spent it was rewatching the whole franchise <laughs> yeah so wow. me and my wife just sat on the couch watched at least one a night like mm -hmm. I absolutely love that franchise and yes while it has diminishing returns the first one never gets old no it doesn't I, I can watch it first over three over. I think yeah. Yes, I agree. I like the third one. I like the third one a lot. I, yeah. I I used to really love the seventh one, and then I rewatched it and saw how bad some of that acting is, and I was like, <laughs> no. The acting got worse and worse as it progressed, yes. and like that movie that was supposed to be the final chapter at the time mm -hmm. left so much shit like unanswered. Yeah. Like what? Well, and it's also weird seeing the movie all the like. Um, 3D pieces of it with like arms flying at you and this yeah. and that. It's it's definitely it's like a trip. force. Yeah, yeah. And then Jigsaw sucked. I didn't like it at all. I I I gotta say I did like it. Did you? I I felt like it was smarter. It was a smart way to do a sequel without like actually bringing back 
Jigsaw and doing what it felt like they were doing the whole movie. Okay. I was really worried while watching that movie they were going to try to bring Tobin Bell back to life, and I was like, please do not do this to me. Yeah. yeah. So I, I felt like that was a smart way to do it. Yeah. And then we got, um, what was it? Spiral from the Book of Saw. We got that coming. If it's not I, delayed. I was like, do not delay that. <laughs> I will cry. Yeah. <laughs> I want to watch it so fucking bad. And from um, what I was reading too, Tobin Bell's not going to be in it. When I was reading. While that makes me sad because that voice goes with those movies so perfectly, yeah. I'm okay with them doing something different. Yeah. I want something different. Yeah. I'd be happy with a completely new take on it to where I'm not worried about, great, we're following I think it's still connected. Routine. Yeah. I think it's still connected. Like, you'll probably see, like, a picture of him somewhere, mm -hmm. t some people talking about him or something like that. Yeah. You'll actually see him in it. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So I'm, I'm definitely hopeful for the future on yeah. that, but... And then we were gonna have a little debate on who's, uh, number one is overall best. My argument for this is my favorite movie was on all three lists, so I think I win. I mean, that's true, because <laughs> that was my number two. <laughs> and then you talked about it, too. I mean, I, I probably, had, out of everything we talked about, I'd probably go Saw. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it came down to two, it'd either be that or Texas Chainsaw, because those are the yeah. two that we all mentioned. Yeah. yeah. yeah but Saw wins. Yeah. I, I, I will always love Saw. And, yeah. like, horror is probably, like, my favorite, like, genre of movie, just because it, you leave it with a different, like, you leave every movie with, like, a different point of view, almost. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it really makes you think about real life, unless it's something, like, super silly and over top, like, yeah. like a... Nightmare on Elm Street, and even then, that has some right. layers to it. Yeah. So, um, I'm surprised that like those weren't on any of our lists. Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the Thirteenth, yeah. Halloween. Oh, that. And I, Halloween. I'll be honest, I got close to putting the uh, remake, the uh, Rob Zombie versions of Halloween. I, I thought about it too, but I was like, eh. Well, well those are our special shoutouts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My special um, shoutout is Willy Wonka the Chocolate Factory. Again, that, that one that's scene. Passable. That one scene Again, makes it scary. The whole goddamn movie. The guy and, and midgets sing and dance while they clean up the mess. I just feel like yeah. you have a problem with midgets. <laughs> I love midgets. <laughs> just not in those just movies. We shouldn't call them midgets. You are the ones who've said it like 18 he times in the video. Yeah, he said it first. I'm just so, going with the flow. Uh, <laughs> uh, just, just like a quick side note. Did you know John Stamos is terrified of little people? Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> is he really? Like so, phobia? Uh, yeah, yeah, you know the comedian Brad Williams? He yeah. walked out this one time. Yeah, he <laughs> scared the shit out of him. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, the dude, f the other dude from uh, uh, Full talking, House. Oh, uh, 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 dad? Yeah. Uh, whatever his name is, Bob Saget. Like, Bob, Bob Saget. He he's like, dude, do me a favor, and <laughs> go run in and just like attack his leg. And John Stamos lost his fucking mind. <laughs> he has a whole a whole bit about it on the uh, on his stand up. It's funny as hell. Yeah. Um. But yeah, for for now, that'll be uh that that's our list video. So yeah. thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and remember, Facebook. Remember to stock up on your TP and hand sanitizer. It's already gone. Yeah. It's too late. So Everything's <laughs> gone. We're, Everything's canceled. The, the, the world's over. It's all yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> so enjoy this video while it lasts. and yeah. We'll see you guys next time. We'll have cops next time you see us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anthony Stevens. Damien Leva. Nate O'Leary. Peace. Adios.